as you can see, the blue turd is a little bit more blue than black now. Uh, I stripped off most of the paint, it was super boring, and I didn't film it because you don't want to watch me just peeling paint off little by little. So, uh, yeah, I stripped all that off, and the more I dug into it, the more issues I found uh, with the plastics, to the point where I just don't think it's worth saving. Um, they're cracked and broken in a few different spots. So at this point, I think it's going to be more cost effective to just buy new plastics, which not a huge deal. It saves me wasting time trying to strip the sides and strip the tail. So yeah, just going to order new plastics for it. Um, I'm going to get super budget plastics because I'm curious how they are. I've heard some pretty bad things about uh, budget plastics sometimes, but uh, I don't want to put a bunch of money into this bike because it's, it's really not worth it. Um, and I mean, I'm probably just going to keep it anyway, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap it. So like budget white plastics, I'm going to try them out and see how they are. And Hey, maybe they're not that bad, but I have a decent idea that they're kind of going to be shit, but we're going to give it a shot. You know, that's, uh, that's half the fun of it. And, um, uh, maybe they are worth it, but yeah, these plastics are just cracked, damaged, broken. Um, it does run. I got it running, but it's not running on all cylinders. It's running on two or three at idle. Um, once the mains hit, it uh, it seems to run on all four. But I think the I think some of the jets are clogged up in the carbs, which I you know knew was going to happen. But I was really hoping that I was going to get lucky and not have to disassemble. Uh, a bunch of carbs and clean it, but you know, eh, really should have just done it ahead of time. Uh, I was I was being lazy and hopeful. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, the oil uh, plug drain plug was stripped out really really bad, and they had like a boat plug in there. So I called up a couple of my buddies who are more knowledgeable than I am about it. And we talked uh, about options. And I ended up getting some time certs. And I drilled the oil pan, plug out to the next size up, retapped it, and then uh, put a time cert in it. And was able to, to get the bolt to seal. Um, it is extraordinarily tight um, as far as how much I had to torque it down to get a good seal on it but it is no longer leaking oil. It's been a, a thing I've had to deal with for the last couple days, just trying to, to get it to stop. Um, I was super frustrated and didn't film it because I had no idea how it was gonna go. And uh, it was just kind of in a rush. I had a busy, uh, busy day, busy schedule, and I had like an hour. <laughs> and I just tried to get it all done to see if I, I could get it to actually get oil back in it because I without a drain plug I couldn't refill it with oil so I didn't film it just didn't have time unfortunately um, that's how it is sometimes when you're filming things it takes like 10 times longer it, it feels like to get anything done just because you gotta I, I'm it's me I'm a one-man operation um, so yeah today we're gonna pull the airbox back off and then pull the carbs out and see how disgusting they are. Uh, cylinders number one and number two aren't running very well at all. So that's where I think the issue is going to be. I think cylinders three and four are actually pretty clean. We're still going to go through it because yeah, it's, we got it all apart. We're going to go through it all. Um, but I expect to see the issues in cylinders one and two and three and four. I don't expect too much. Um, so let's get into it. All right. Just like before, we've got a handful of 10 millimeter bolts. that filter to here disassemble that put that up there for now <clears throat> that is our choke lever all right there's the plug 
looks like a throttle position. Something like that. Ooh, that's all cracked. Get that out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> Those are really damn stuck. All right, we're still attached down here because we have the remote uh, idle adjustment. So we just need to take that out real quick. Okay, there's that. Now, disconnect the throttles, push and pull cable. It's a little bit different than other carbs I've worked on. Looks like you gotta pull this bracket here to be able to pull off the throttle cables. This little, ooh, that might be a bolt that holds the whole damn thing together there. But that's it. It holds the whole rack. So we're gonna reinstall that. Okay, throttle cables are disconnected. Now it's just the choke. We don't want anything falling down in the engine. So let's block up all that. Just don't forget to remove these. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's put that back on there. Okay, now rack of carbs can come out. So I just texted my friend, who is a mechanic, asking, am I being dumb, or do these just should pop right up? And he said, with all the corrosion, we might have to put a pry bar on them. But I think first I want to try and vacuum all the shit out of here. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, get these to pop out with a little bit of prying. I don't want to go off of the... I really don't want to go off of that because I don't... Oh, that did work. All right. Jeez, uh, everything's in the damn way. Okay, that's number one. New plugs going in are... CR9Es. Which hopefully is the same plug that's coming out. Limited space to work with on this bike, that's for freaking sure. <clears throat> now... Not super fun. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to get back in. But I think that gives me enough clearance to at least do that. Maybe get the short extension. All right, after much struggle, I was able to get the spark plug out. It's okay, it's not great. Definitely needs to be replaced. So I've got the new one in there. It's gonna... Feels... Like it started nicely. I really, really wish I had an extension that was 
like an inch longer than this one. Honestly, I might just run out and try and find one because this is annoyingly, annoyingly short. You can't fit a longer extension in there. At least use it to tighten it up. Went in there nicely. I'll just, uh, it's just the corner ones that are the issue. All right, finger tight, and then just another half turn. That should be it right there. Now I'll take this extension, put that back on there. So I don't have a magnet on a stick that I can find currently. And bam, take that out. Now we're gonna take this coil. I'm gonna drop that back on top. Okay, on to the next one. Just uh, that little trick with the pry bar on these is doing <clears throat> awesome. All this to switch out plugs and to clean the carbs. And honestly, it's more of a. Actually, let's see if we can't put the wobble in there. It's more the plugs that are the damn issue. These things are an unnecessarily large pain in the ass to get to. I don't think these center two are going to be too bad, but the end two are a bear. So I think I'm going to have to pull that pipe too. There we go. Plug number two looks equally is dirty. Nice new fresh plugs going in. All right, that's finger tight. And half a turn. All right, so we're gonna clean up the ignition coil and then drop that back in. That one's set nicely. Okay, on to the next. Well, nice, okay, that was not too bad. Rinse and repeat. Three and four were running pretty much full time. So I'm fairly confident that those, these plugs are gonna look better for one. And two, the, those two carbs should look a lot better. Really not looking forward to that one. <laughs> uh, it's such a pain in the ass. All right. Eh, a little bit better. A little bit better. Not too bad. They've all been nicely threading back in, though. Nothing feels like it's cross-threading, which is nice. Okay, and tight. And we'll just half a turn. Okay. Okay, let's go to that last problem child. And we're gonna reassemble the ignition system so we can put the carbs back in when those are clean. Ooh, that one actually wasn't too bad. Best one yet. This is by far the worst uh, plugs I've ever had to do. Hey. Yep, that one looks about the same as the other side. 
Actually pretty excited to dig into these carves and see how bad it is. But also, putting the carbs back together is like the last thing to get this thing running properly. And I can really take it for a little rip instead of just a little putt-putt. All right, and then we'll do a nice half a turn there. I'm gonna kick the shit out of it. Okay, clean up the last coil. And drop that coil back in place. There we go. Just gonna double check all these feel nice and in place. They do. Let's start putting this ignition system back together. Let's reinstall all of the wires here. Start with the main plug. These just click into a little track here. Okay. And last one there. Okay. Reconnect this. That connects to the carbs. That should be everything. So, with that, our ignition system is completely switched over to our new plugs and then put back together. Whew, that was a pain in the ass. Okay, now to move on to the carbs.